Hey folks, this is Keith Gribbins here with Compact Equipment Magazine. I hope everybody out there is staying healthy, safe, and productive. Uh, this is another chapter in our video series called Compact Equipment Conversations, uh, where a lot of us are still working remotely uh, or social distancing in a big way on the job site, but we're still taking uh, opportunities to connect and talk about all the cool new equipment, attachments, uh, and issues affecting the compact equipment sector. Um, my guest today is Glenn Dan User, co-owner of Dan User, the attachment brand. Um, we're going to be talking about auger systems for skid steers and track loaders, uh, tractors, and other tool carriers. Glenn, thanks for taking the time to chat. Keith, thanks for having me. Uh, Glenn is part of a fourth generation family business out of Fulton, Missouri that produces OEM parts and attachments for a variety of industries. Um, I've been writing about the Dan User brand personally for at least a decade. Um, today, Dan User is home to some awesomely unique implements like its uh, Intimidator land clearing attachment and its Mega Mixer concrete bucket that can run on everything from tractors to track loaders. Of course, when I think of Dan User, my first thought is always auger systems, and the brand makes some of the best augers in the industry. Uh, its latest EP series is setting the bar pretty high for planetary augers, uh, and Dan User offers PTO and hydraulic variants with a variety of mounts and bits. Um, Glenn, maybe we can start off uh, with maybe the first big steps when looking at an auger attachment system for a tractor or a skid steer or a track loader. Um, what things should buyers be considering? Obviously, those are different types of machines. Um, so maybe we can start off with uh, compact utility trackers, um, size, horsepower, hitch. What kind of things should people keep in mind? Sure. Um, you know, for tractor for tractors, you need to know the horsepower of the tractor and the category of the hitch. So you have category zero, one, two, three. And so that will give us the proper uh, way to mount or to match up the right PTO auger system for your tractor. Um, hydraulic auger systems have become the norm when using tractors or skids to your track loaders. So when purchasing a hydraulic auger, the first thing you want to tackle is the GPM and PSI of the hydraulic system, which are the gallons per minute and the pressure of the hydraulic pump. So once you know those two numbers, you can perfectly match a drive unit to operate within those parameters. The second hurdle is what are the ground conditions like? Uh, do I require some type of heavy duty digging, light duty digging? If I have some difficult ground conditions, I'm going to want a hydraulic system that offers me more torque and less speed. If I have uh, light duty digging, then I'll take the more speed, less torque. And so those are really the parameters when trying to attach to either one of those vehicles. Okay, awesome insights. Um, uh, obviously, Dan User does a lot of different types of auger bits as well for various uh, applications. Uh, the company offers agricultural, industrial, and flightless auger bits uh, with lots of sub subcategories below that. Um, can you discuss the variety of auger bits on the market and what applications they're used for? Sure. Our agricultural style auger bits utilize a half inch diameter bolt hole that connected to the machine. And so they are primarily a quarter inch flight thickness and have bolt on type cutting edges. And the agricultural others will have a semi double flight, but both all of ours are double flight. Now for the industrial size, we use a 5 16 inch flight thickness with a larger diameter center column as you're seeing them on larger machines with more torque. We also have the bolt on type tooth, a drive in type tooth as well as a solid rock bullet type tooth auger in industrial configuration. For the specialty augers, you touched on the wobble auger, that is the uh, dirtless digging uh, auger. Basically, it has no flights and you just push and bore a hole through the earth. It compacts the dirt into the sidewalls and you have a concrete sand rock ready hole. We also have the, uh, the rock augers we talked about, two inch diameter for smaller T-post type applications all the way up to larger solid rock augers. And then you have your tree planting augers, which tend to be a two-step auger configuration, maybe like an 18-inch diameter at the top, a nine-inch diameter at the bottom, and you set your bolt-type tree in the bigger hole, and as the roots break through the burlap, they'll go down and establish through the smaller hole. Lots of options, that's always awesome. Um, after someone's picked the right auger and the right bit, um, how can a tractor or skid steer operator or owner go about um, operating that auger safely and productively? Uh, what operational tips could you share with our readership? Uh, first off, contact 811 and check anything below the ground before you start digging. Um, second option or second thing that you need to do is keep biped, bystanders away at least 25 feet away. Um, from there, lower the auger in the ground 12 to 18 inches at a time, take a bite of the earth, raise the auger up without clearing the hole to expel the uh, dirt out of the hole, and desired uh, depth is achieved. Once you have that, then spin the auger, collect the dirt, stop it, and raise it up out of the hole, and you should have uh, your hole that you need.
Hi, making it seem easy. Um, <laughs> of course, uh, Denny's makes lots of, uh, of attachments, not just auger attachment systems. Um, concrete buckets, drop hammers, pallet forks, grapple buckets, post drivers, a lot, a lot more than that. Um, Glenn, maybe you can pick uh, an attachment or two that has you excited these days. Well, the Intimidator is probably by far my uh, favorite attachment. Uh, it is on my farm at all times, and I, I can't really uh, find an excuse. You just get in the skidster and go. Uh, the Intimidator has been um, very uh, popular for this year as well. Things are really growing this year amongst everything that's happening so far in 2020. So we have some very good demand on Intimidators as well as it's kind of dominating the industry. A lot of people are keeping their eyes on that machine. The Hammer Post Driver always uh, turns heads. It uh, changed the post driving industry about six, seven years ago. And with using the grapple to pick the post up off the ground and drive your post in line with your fence, it's truly a one person operation, which uh, a lot of people are uh, by themselves now on the farm doing some work. And so those two are probably the most important ones or the most popular ones, I should say, going through the shop at this point in time. Yeah, they sound cool. Um, there are a lot of attachment options and brands on the market today, uh, but Dan User has been in business or been in business for over 110 years and in the attachment business specifically uh, for 75 years. What advice can you give our readership when shopping for implements? Um, every attachment is obviously different, but how can a customer inspect quality and what service level should they expect um, from their dealer and OEM? Well, I would ask around to your peers or uh, people in the uh, business with you or similar of what brands and what type of attachments they would recommend if you were to, to purchase one. I would ask the dealers inside. A lot of dealers will give you the truth of what companies offer good quality attachments as opposed to uh, something that they can't stand by or support. Uh, that is another option that you really need to consider as well is the manufacturer if they design it and manufacture it there then you they should be able to offer you the customer service and the support that you need while owning their piece of equipment so the dealer's a good judge others in the industry are a good judge and you can of course get on social media and see what everybody's talking about or what they recommend you know, i belong to a few forums that i follow on social media and people are always asking i want to do this what type of tool do you guys recommend and there's a lot of good answers and a lot of good support there. Great insights, Glenn. I really appreciate it. Um, just one last question coming at you. Um, how much, what kind of, what sort of price are people going to think at when they're looking at an auger system? Um, how much do you, they, can they spend? Maybe you could give us a range. Well, the hydraulic auger system for a skister loader um, can go anywhere from about $2,500 on up. Just depends on the uh, type of auger bit. Uh, the drive units are very comparable. Uh, as you step up to larger series motors, there's a slight dollar increase. But the auger bits can really uh, affect you as a larger diameter and versus light duty or heavy duty. And you have to take that in consideration. You can't shop an auger bit on its price. Uh, that'd be like buying an F-150 to, to pull a 40-foot boat. Uh, that's not going to be a good option. Or a 40-horse tractor pulling a 40-row planter. And so you do have to buy the right auger bit for the right job. And sometimes those can uh, cost more money, especially in a, a specialty type uh, rock auger. Great information, Glenn. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to Compact Equipment. Dan User is obviously a great brand of augers uh, and other attachments, and I would suggest people to check them out. Thanks for having me, Keith. Appreciate the support. Uh, CE readers can visit www.compactequip.com for more info on Dan User uh, and attachments for all types of tool carriers. Uh, thanks for tuning in and be safe out there. Bye for now.